hello guys welcome to my channel t something and in this video tutorial i will gonna show you how to fix some uh, uh vcr runtime 140 dot del error um so how to fix this type of error let's see start before starting of the video i humbly request you please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates so let's see start it Okay guys, first of all, going to your uh, this website, links also be uh, available into the video description. You can jump this website www.dll-files.com uh, slash vcr runtime 140.dell.html. So go to, uh, go to your uh, this website and after doing this that uh, scroll down and uh, you know you can see that there are different versions of the uh, available of our VCR runtimes. Now you can uh, download a version according to your uh, uh, computer operating system. So how to check the, your uh, computer uh, operating network. So go to your desktop, right click and go to your uh, properties. Now you can see data my operating system is a 64 bit. If you are a, uh, use a 32 bit, then you can uh, download a 32 bit. Otherwise you can download a 64 bit uh, Android. Uh, so uh, this version. So um i uh, downloading a uh, 64 but uh, version is the latest so click on a download button when you uh, click on a download version it's uh, after a few seconds it's downloading automatically started uh, you can see that like this okay guys open it and go to your open folder now you can see that so, okay guys uh, right click and click on extract here after doing this that you can see that are two files uh, appear in there so copy uh, the vcr runtime 140.dell and click on a copy button and after doing this go to your uh, my computer and go to your uh, local disk c and go to your uh, uh, windows is a folder name so okay guys uh, go open a folder name as windows after doing this that find out um, system32 folder name so now you can see that a folder names as system32 now open it and after doing this paste it okay copy and replace it and click on a ok button now paste in in the in it and uh, after that because i have already uh, uh, pasted uh, go back and open a sysww64 uh, folder and once again paste it and click on ok guys and click on ok button now you can paste it ok after doing this uh, uh, i'm sure that after doing this that your problem is fixed uh thank you for watching and please subscribe my youtube channel